He told the players when they're in the tunnel to give them a bunch of flowers but wrapped in barbed wire. go back into the dressing room after the game, all the players are there singing Sad Guru, Sad Guru, Sad Guru. I was in… you know, I went and spoke to the Everton Football Club. Is anybody following English, English Premier League? Huh? So that's the best, best uh, leagues in the world, English Premier League, the highest quality, the best players play there. Now the Spanish league is getting much better but still English league is… in terms of talent, it's great. So, uh, the last time when I was in Birmingham, a young man attended the program. Not the program, just a talk, a evening talk. So, I didn't know anything about Sadhguru, I'd never heard of him until the day before. And then, just before it's about to speak, this energy just came into the room, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And, and he's standing there, this guy, this incredible guy, and he starts speaking. So I went home and he was an incredible speaker, as you know. Incredible energy. And it really had a big, a big effect on me. And so the next day I'm, I'm thinking, right, I'd love to get him in to speak to the players. Sadhguru is a big football fan and a big sports fan, as you know. Um, so he, he agreed to come in and, and speak to the players, and, and I was so excited. So the next morning, it was a Saturday, he was coming in to uh, kind of meet the players and watch training. And all of a sudden, I started to get very nervous. Normally, I don't feel stressed, but I was very stressed and nervous. And the moment that I saw him, the, the feeling of panic that I had completely dissolved and I, feel, I felt completely at ease and, and, and at peace. And that's part of the impact that Sadhguru has on people. So they took me to the Everton Football Club and they want me to speak to the boys. They're stars in their own right. The moment you enter a professional football league, you are a star in your own right because there's a certain talent there. Then uh, with a couple of boys, uh, I kicked the ball around a bit and then uh, I was to talk to them. And he had his sandals on and his flowing robes and he was out there kicking the ball around with Jack Rodwell. And, and it was just a very funny, funny sight and funny experience to have this Indian guru here kicking a ball around with premiership footballers. So that night it was at the team hotel in Formby. We're about to play Liverpool in the derby the next day. And we'd not beaten Liverpool for years. So I went and they were training. So when the football clubs train, they're under the manager's whip and it's very rigid and things are going through paces because the next day they're playing a big game, a very big game with Liverpool. Liverpool has really fabulous stars, Torres, Gerard. These are kind of pe people who can change a game in individually single-handed. The manager is putting them through the paces and you know the usual things and running up and down. They don't want to put them through too much stress. The previous day, they're just enough to keep them limbered up. So I went there, I said, I just want to be there and observe and um, I was just uh, there. So he, he comes into the room in, in his robes and the players are sat there and I noticed immediately that the players, all of a sudden, they just got this, like they, they calmed. Normally a lot of them can't sit still, but they completely sat still and were completely present and calm and, and peace kind of came into the room. It was an incredible experience. And from being okay to slowly, they became like… <laughs> like this. Because I… what… they thought some religious preaching is going to come. I just asked them a simple question and made them look at life in a certain way, look at the game in a certain way. I'm not trying to teach them soccer, they know how to play soccer. But how to keep yourself? Just this an hour and a half talk. Next day, I had special pass to go and sit in the box for the game. And I went and sat for the game. And uh, one thing I remember is he told the players when they're in the tunnel and regarding the opposition is to give them a bunch of flowers but wrapped in barbed wire. 
and I won't go into what he meant by that, but it always stuck with me and I know it stuck with the players as well. This one of their stars is Tim Carey. Tim Carey is from Australia and I saw this boy was just sitting there like this. I said, uh, today when you enter the field, say nice things to the Liverpool players. He, she was… he looked shocked, say nice things to them. I said, he's a forward. So I said, particularly go to the goalkeeper and say nice things to him. <laughs> he looked like this. I said, yes, you do this and see. And uh, I said, find out something about the goalkeeper's life. They said he had a daughter three months ago. I said, go and ask how his little daughter is doing. Just do it. And if he thinks it's a friendly, in his mind, for a moment if he becomes friendly with you and slackens down for a moment, a moment of slackness is what you need <laughs> That's all the game is <laughs> And the first goal he scored <laughs> And I saw him actually patting, you know, when they were introducing, he not only shook the hand, he went to the goalkeeper and he tapped him on his chest and said something nice. And within twenty minutes, he scored the first goal. They scored one more. And they dominated the whole game right through, which was a huge surprise headlines in all the newspapers next day, they won 2-0. I go back into the dress room after the game, all the players are there singing, Sad Guru, Sad Guru, Sad Guru. And it was one of the best days of my life. And that evening on Match of the Day, Match of the Day was just starting and it was just panning around and it, it comes on to Sadhguru because he had the Everton shirt on that um, Jags had given him. And the, the commentator goes, what, uh, the, here's an interesting gentleman. It is just that constantly Liverpool means you're overpowered, overwhelmed by the reputation of the big players there. Nobody's reputation is going to win any game or any situation anywhere. How you conduct this situation is how it's going to work. I have a great reputation, but tomorrow you can make a fool of yourself, isn't it, if you don't conduct it properly. So reputations are to be respected when you walk on the street, never to be respected or even considered when you are actually in the situation or the game. So the impact that Sadhguru had on on the players was, was huge and, and he gave them meditation techniques like Isha Kriya and I know that several of them still do it to, today and several of them still follow Sadhguru, his talks um, and he's a huge inspiration. And hopefully when this pandemic ends that we'll be able to get him back in here and he can help a new generation of footballers succeed.